Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. I hope you're having a lovely day. The sun is shining here today in Tennessee and that is so nice since we've had so much rain. So my boys have set up a little tent in the front yard and they've been playing camping. Super cute. Again, you're probably gonna hear noises in the background since all of the kids are out of school with what's going on right now with the quarantine. But I do have a marketplace video for you. I have three different artists. I think I have one by De um, Diane, I wanna say, Goolsby, one by Diane, some, several by Diana Smith, and some from the country of the Philippines. So exciting there. And then uh, Joanne and I are working very hard to try to keep the shop stocked. It is so wonderful. All of the sales we've had, it has helped both of us and many artists through the marketplace during this time. And we're so grateful. So don't stop, keep shopping. It helps so much, you have no idea. Um, but I have a couple things that I'm putting in the shop today and then we'll get into the videos. I'm not gonna take a lot of time on this. Um, I used to keep these in the shop. I think they sold out and so I'm restocking, but these are these really, really cute little gardening cards. They're sets of 10 random uh, flowers. These are wonderful for tucking in journals and then on the back they tell you all about the flowers. So I have several packs of those available. I pretty much decimated my last book of these. Hopefully I'll be able to find more once all the stores reopen and I can go back to my favorite bookstore, but I love these. So I do have several packs available for now. This will be all that's left. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more in, but pick those up because these are amazing. And then I made a bunch of journal covers. Um, these are just simple and I've used, I don't know what to call it. It's a wallpaper book, but this isn't wallpaper. It's like the murals. Um, and then they do a book showing like examples, but they're really pretty paper. So it's kind of like a sturdy, almost a semi-gloss, not really glossy, but it's not matte either. I don't know how to explain it. And then inside of all of them, I have put coloring book pages. That way you can either leave it blank for whoever, to, once you've completed the journal to color, or you can use, you know, watercolors or color pencils or markers or whatever you want. So I have a couple of sets. I'm not gonna list them individually. I have, um, you'll be able to see how I've split it up, but they're all stitched with a zigzag stitch and then really beautiful. So I'll just go super quickly through. They are not embellished uh, yet. That's your job. So they're just stitched and ready to go. You stick your signature in there. And I've sized them to about six by nine, which means you can take whatever eight and a half by 11 paper you might have, fold them in half and stick it in there and there's no trimming involved. So hopefully, look at those little bears. Isn't that so cute? Um, I love this map one. So there's just a lot of different ones here that are available. Get your craft on. And if you have kids or grandkids at home, these are great too because you can teach them how to make a journal and you have a cover ready to go. I love the whales on this one. So there's tropical set and outdoors and there's leaves and waterfalls. I love the little lizard. Be super cute. There's water. Love the cherry blossoms. Isn't that beautiful? These. This one's one of my favorites. So I thought it was just a really unique way to use these and turn them into something fantastic. I love the acorns on this as well. And you can put your favorite picture, like you could use my kit Poetry of Trees. It would go absolutely perfect with this cover and you can turn it into something amazing. You can also buy these, turn them into journals, decorate them all up and send them back in for marketplace journals and I can sell them for you. So that's a great option. All right, enough about my random supplies. Let's get into these journals. So we're gonna start off the next person on my list was Cherise from the Philippines. And oh, I meant to unwrap these before I filmed, but I didn't, so well. She's made some traveler's notebooks, and so I'll be putting these together into little packs probably. You can purchase the ones you want, but look at how sweet. I love the stitching. It's a really pretty little uh, ribbon there. It says, being happy never goes out of style. So these are from the Philippines, and then you're supporting a wonderful artist over there as well when you purchase these. She has information 
about her, um, where she gets her stuff and all of that. Just do a quick little flip through so you can see her style. These are perfect for putting in traveler's notebook covers, or I just like having these because they're a perfect size and you can have several at one time and you can have different themes. So you could have a gratitude journal and a shopping list journal and uh, things to do around the house journal and you can have a whole stack of them and mark them all differently. It's just, you never can have too many of these. I love her collaging on the cover. I think it's very well done. This is a very well made traveler's notebook. Um, so definitely high quality. She knows what she's doing. So she did send several. And like I said, I meant to unpack these, but I didn't. So here's another one, really pretty cover. I love the little ruffly lace that she put around the, the edges here, or the side, I guess I should say. This is called Flower Song. Really pretty. See the book pages, the dyed papers, very high quality, perfect for turning into your own little journal. It's tied really well. There's beautiful, beautiful papers. This is definitely my style and I uh, have done junk journaling in this size before. We're actually currently working on one. I just haven't had a chance to do a video on it. I've been so busy doing videos on other things, but hopefully I will get to that soon. Let's see, here's a little bigger, bit bigger one she sent. So let's see what we have here. That's pretty. It says true love's kiss. That's part of the elastic closure. Isn't that beautiful? Two signatures. Really good quality. Love what she did. So I think this is probably like a little bit of a fairy tale. Oh, I look, I love that. It's got a pocket. Semi hardcover journal. Cover made with cardstock, two medium weight cardstock glued together front and back. So she's really, this is perfect. And what I talk about when you make marketplace journals of making a sturdy cover and tight binding, this is perfect. It's professional, it's lovely, creative, well-made. So exactly what you're aiming for when you're making a marketplace journal. It's not heavily embellished. You don't need to spend days and days and days and days adding stuff to it. You need to focus on what matters and what counts and the, that is the quality of the journal. And then you add your special little touches. So that is a sweet journal. I really love that. Very creative. Let's see here. Into these. I love that. It's got a mushroom on the front, a little fairy, it's a little closure, right? Oh, and that's sewn on, so you can just take it off there. And she has two signatures in this. Boy, do I love, love how she set that up. Traveler's Notebook Style 2 Signature. Look at how pretty. And the rounded corners. It's the precision that makes it so beautiful. The um, how perfectly everything is put together. Yes, it has simplicity, but then that allows, but look at the touches. Like in the gap here, she has these little rhinestones. There's stitching. Very nice, very, very pretty. There's a little flap here you could tuck something and then that just closes over it. So fairy and mushroom, very nice. Here's another thin one with some little tabs. I'm not gonna take the bow off right now. I'll post pictures of it on my website because I'm gonna put it with uh, probably one of the, some of these other small ones. Because these are 
pre pretty similar. This one as well, I'll post pictures on the website. And we'll flip through her last one. Oh, I love that. Look at the collaged. That's the whole collage is different ribbons and laces. Touch of black, shabby chic. Stitching on the pages, the stitching around the pages. I like how she used the black thread. It's a contrast to the other like pastel colors she has in here. So beautiful. So much you could do with it. So those are her journals. And I wanted to pull out a couple other journals that were laying around and get them in the marketplace. So this one, I think, must have come in one of the challenge journals because it was sitting here, challenge journals, challenge boxes, and it was sitting here in a bag. This is from Diane Goolsby. Um... What did she say here? This is called Birthday Cakes. It's pink, 11 by five. So it's a really, really tall one. It says, it's my birthday. And there's a little dangly there. There's a pencil inside. So this is just, oh, okay. This is a unique size. There's a happy birthday card. So you could give it as a gift but it's just fun. It's like, it could be a great like guest book for a birthday, a birthday gift for a birthday girl. It's just cute. So this is added into the marketplace as well. Bright and cheery. And then I think she drew that or painted it. It has her name, her signature. So that's really fun. There's a little birthday journal, all right? And then these are from Diana Smith, I believe. Isn't that pretty? Three signatures, look at the collaging. Very nice. Yeah, Diana Smith. And so I'm just gonna do a quick, quickie flip through of her journals. And then you can see more pictures over on the website. Look at the stamping. I love her little clusters. Very cute. Lots of places to journal. Pretty cardstock. Oh, my fingers are not working today. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hold on. What else do we have here? I think she did this one as well. Yeah, and I'm losing all the books. It's a pretty collage there on the front. Looks like we have one signature. It's just a cute little, little journal, perfect for note-taking. I've even enjoyed doing junk journaling in a small journal before. I think it's fun. Something different. They make excellent little gifts as well. So there's that one. Beware of low flying hot air balloons. I love the little postage stamps collaged on there. A little elastic and a button. That's pretty. Some really nice journaling pages on this one. And real nice vintage feel. That is really a useful little journal. This one's a little bigger. I love that paper. It's a map paper and then there's a burlap flower here and some lace on the spine. It's a traveler, like a travel journal. It's a 
look at the edges, the corners. They're all punched out. These are nice quality papers. There's different kinds of papers. Be great for recording a trip or something like that. So that's a really fun one. Let's see. Here's one. So let's, let's see, pink cover. So this has one big chunky signature. This is a perfect list taking journal. You can keep your lists, keep it all closed up. Maybe you keep receipts, things like that in it as well, because that covers over the edge and things aren't gonna fall out the side and then you can just tie it closed. It would be perfect for, I think, throwing in your bag or keeping by your computer, whatever you take your notes and lists in. Let's see, here is a coffee one. This feels like it is a placemat. So this is great for, you can wipe it off. You don't have to worry about that. Yep, it's a placemat, but look at how nice, it's like a really nice ivory patina on the inside. It's not that bright white. It makes a great journal cover. You have some beautiful pages in here, little touches, little stitching. That would be fun. I think I would want to, when I'm drinking my coffee, have this nearby and write down my to-dos for the day. Then she has a couple of little ones. These will probably be sold as a set. They're very thin, which makes them really nice. I love that it's called Franken paper. I think Nick the Booksmith came up with that term, but it's all stitched pieces together, but it's so beautiful. And then this one has like a gears, kind of like a steampunk theme. And then it's not very many pages. It's only like 17 pages. So it's perfect for maybe you just want to take notes or keep lists of one small thing. I know I'm thinking about some of my Pinterest boards where I have like essential oil recipes or maybe uh, like granola bar recipes I want to try for my boys lunches or maybe home projects or something and you don't need a giant notebook. You just want little notebooks so that you can write down what you need to write down and you don't have a ton left over. They make incredible gifts too. So I'm going to sell them as a set so that whoever gets them can keep the ones they want and maybe even give a couple as a gift. They're nice and thin so you could send them in happy mail to someone who you think might need to be cheered up and it wouldn't cost much in postage. I'm not going to open all of them. You can see some pictures over on the website but I just want you to see these gorgeous covers. That one has a little bit of a tropical feel as well. Love the little buttons. And then here is a little, I gotta love that cover. Look at this little one. There's Velcro. I love the roses. Isn't that pretty? You could hang a little tassel as well. And then very similar to the other ones, beautiful coffee dyed paper, two gorgeous signatures. So pretty. And then there's a little keyhole. Not pretty. Look at that. You can see the alphabet down the side. Uniquely handmade limited edition. Burlap on the spine. Gorgeousness. And the last one we're sharing today has a bicycle on it. There's a little button on a bulb pin. Similar to the last one. That is a beautiful stamp. Love nature stamps. Very similar on the inside. Again, perfect for note taking. Look at how pretty, gorgeous little pages, lovely little things. So I hope you enjoyed this little video with me and that you found a couple of moments of inspiration throughout. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, if you take a second and hit that subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Maybe add it to a playlist to watch later if you don't have time to finish it right now. And I hope that next will be a tutorial video on making um, 
vintage script overlays for photos and for journal pages. So I have kind of a fun idea and hopefully I'll get to that in the next day or two and get that up. I think you guys will enjoy that. I will see all of you in the next video. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're crafting, creating, and just letting the peace of the day flood you with joy.